you want to make a, a, a pipe and some, and some other Mario things, you know? Maybe you want to make Luigi, you know? Who knows? Maybe, maybe you like Princess Peach, you know? You want to make Bowser, a giant turtle. Hey guys, I'm Methods by Kai, I'm Kai We're back once again to look at how to make pipe. I'm going to do like a little, kind of like an uncut little my process of making this cool little Mario in styled kind of a uh, 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 pipe. These little green pipes that, that Mario and friends go into, you know? I think that'd be pretty cool to do. We, uh, we, have, we don't really model things too often, so I figure we might do like a couple, a couple modeling videos. Who knows, you know? I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll just have to see, so... I started. I want to go ahead and just um, like I said, my it's gonna be my process for doing it. So we'll kind of just like model with model and 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 play around with some things and just have a good bit of fun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of some stuff that we don't need. I'll get this thing crack a lack, and I want to start off with a circle. We're gonna actually leave this. Um, we're actually gonna eh, we can do, we can actually do a um cylinder instead of a circle. That'd probably be. Uh, a little bit smarter. There we go. Look at that nice, nice little thing like that. There we go. So we we'll go ahead and hit add. This will add cylinder. We'll change the number of vertices. To four. That's fine. Yeah, sixty-four. Um, and now I want to go ahead and go to shade smooth, and then we'll go ahead and go on down to normals and turn auto smooth on. There you go. So now it's nice and smooth without having to mess with anything. Um, and then after that, I want to go ahead and actually do one more thing. Uh, let's go into edit mode real quick, hitting. Tab, and then we'll grab the face select tool. Grab this little face up here at E to extrude, but won't we won't extrude anything? We'll just right click to get rid of that, and then we'll hit E again, and then hit S. So it just goes straight on out like that. So if we were to extrude the first one, you can. If we were to extrude the first one like this. See, it would. Oop, there we go. You'd see if we were just to extrude it without scaling it first, without extruding it first, you can see that it would just scale the whole thing. So if we hit E to extrude, and then right click, and then hit S. See that now we can extrude it and it'll just make a new little thing for us, which is what I need. So we'll do like this. Hit E to extrude that upwards like that. Uh, it might be a little too wide, actually. Like that, probably more accurate. There we go. There you go. You love to see it. Nice. And then with that done, I'll hit I to inset it a little bit like that. Then we'll go ahead and hit 1 on my numpad to go to the side view. Turn on wireframe mode so we can see through this whole thing. Then hit E to just extrude this downwards into the pipe like that. And then hit tab to go back out of edit mode. And then hit wireframe to turn wireframe off. And now you can see we got a nice little pipe, which is too cool. Very, very cool stuff. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and then we can go ahead and just give this bad boy a color. Let's go ahead and go to the material tab. Hit that little material. Go to viewport shading. Well, I actually have to add a lamp back, but I want to add my own. So shift A. Search for a sun. There you go. Double tap R to rotate this bad boy like that. There you go. Hit G to move it up just because. Um, we can change a couple of things here. We can change the power. We can change the color. We can change the everything. I'm going to change the color to a slight yellow color like that. Slightly yellow. Like that. And then we'll go ahead and change the color of the pipe to itself to that classic green color. Like thusly. And then, of course, it's, it looks like a pipe, so it's metallic. Uh, let's actually turn it up a little bit like that. Uh, that's basically perfect the way that it is. We'll turn specular up and turn roughness down a little bit. And that's basically the pipe. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. We'll go ahead and just grab the, the, grab the sun. Uh, and actually, I'll turn down metallic a little bit. There we go. That's what you like to see. Turn specular up a little bit. Maybe roughness. Uh, maybe roughness up a little bit, actually. There you go. Very cool. Now, I want to grab the sun uh, lamp and hit shift D, duplicate that. And then just hit uh, RZ 180. And then R Y one eighty, so it kind of like goes up the direct opposite direction. So up and from the bottom right, there you go. And then we can go ahead and change this to a bluish color, like that. So that's a little bit of different different lighting over there. Um, then we can do the same thing over here in this side, really, if we wanted to. But I don't really want to. I kind of want to just leave it the way that it is. I think it looks perfect the way that it is already. So that's our pipe, which looks really, really cool. Now, I don't want to really stop it with just this singular pipe. I kind of want to do something else here. But what would fit the pipe? Do we do like, um, we do like a, what do we do? I feel like anything else would probably be a, too big to do in one video, like a piranha plant. You know what I mean? Um, that'd be just big to do in one video. Let's go ahead and turn on ambient occlusion. Um, and then turn the distance up to about 10. There you go. Um, actually, we do five. 
10, 10 is fine. I, we can probably leave it on five, but yeah. Um, what is one? Yeah, maybe. I kind of like the simple, the simpleness of like even just one. But we'll leave it on five for now. All right, cool. Spreads it out a little bit, you know. Um, all right, cool. So with that done, we can go ahead and turn on screen face reflections, even though we don't really need it because I mean, like there's not too much going on here other than like in this little that's on the uh, top there. Um, maybe on the inside a little bit as well. There you go. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. We turn on a little bit of bloom as well. I mean, you can't really see too much. There's not a lot really happening here. So we turn the intensity up. Uh, we turn the threshold down a little bit, maybe a little bit. So I have a little bit of that glow on there. If we turn to this direction, as you can see right there. Um, now, with all of that done, I want to go ahead and maybe. And we do. I, I just really want to model the pipe today. Actually, we can uh, create a nice little place for this pipe to sit right above um but the issue with that is ooh, i forgot about this sun lamp let's wait let's go ahead and actually instead of making this a sun lamp and um can shadows off first of all um we can go ahead and uh and kind of make this something different so if i were to go ahead and if i were to go ahead and just scale this bed well we can do that now because the shadows don't matter anymore okay that's perfect all right sweet so we can add the lighting down there because it'll still affect the plane uh the the, the uh pipe so we're we're, we're chilling Go ahead and just hit S to scale this bad boy up a little bit. Um, and I kind of want to get like maybe from this angle. So let's go ahead and grab our camera by hitting zero into the numpad. That's a nice. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Okay, never mind. I like this. We're going to keep it like this. Um, we'll just we'll get around the, the plane. Don't worry about it. We'll just S and scale it up like that a little bit. Go to the material tab. Hit new. Change the base color to a nice like darker color maybe. We'll spend the spec. Oh, uh, maybe no. Look just. Solid black. Okay. Do something like that, maybe. Perhaps. For chance. Or maybe. I don't like the way the shadow is, though, if I'm honest with you. Let's go ahead and grab the view tool and we'll just kind of move this around um, until I find. I like the way that it was. All right, cool. We'll just do like that. That's fine. Um, And we'll turn maybe specular off. And we'll just make it a solid, solid color. Maybe we can do white, actually. Good. We could do white. It looks fine. It looks good. Great right the way that it is, you know? Then we don't have to make things it's super complex. Um, now, I do maybe want to do something else inside of the pipe. So, let's go ahead and actually create something inside. Maybe we'll put, fill it with something that, that it's, that's never in uh, Mario, but just for today, it is. So, uh, let's grab a circle and then turn back on my overlays. Hit S to scale it down a little bit. Tab to go into edit mode. Hit F to create a face. Tab to go out of edit mode, of course. Hit G and then Z to move it back, this bad boy up. And now I want to fill this with something. Maybe we can make like some kind of lava or something. Maybe let's fill it with lava. So let's create a new material. Change it from emission to, change it from principal ESDF to emission. There you go. And then we can change the color to a nice like orangey color like that. And then we'll just turn the emission. Oh, maybe this is, oh. Oh, maybe this is one of Bowser's uh, uh, pipes. That's why. That's why there's lava in it. Ooh. So many questions. So little time. Oh, yes, you see. Nice. Very cool. Now, I want to kind of... Oh, there we go. Kind of like something like this. Tilt it upwards. Ooh, okay. Oh, maybe we just, like, create a different angle in general. We'll, we'll go and hit uh, camera to view. And then we'll kind of just, like, move it around to some somewhere where I really want it. And then we'll kind of zoom in a little bit. There we go. Uh, and then I think that'll probably be good the way that it is. And I want to also use the camera's depth of field. So let's go out to the camera tab down here, hit depth of field on, uh, drop it down, and then we'll change the f-stop way, way, way down. We'll change the focus distance rim of the portal. Maybe, yeah. We'll leave it the way that it was actually. I like the, the depth of field look on this, but that looks really, really cool. If we go ahead, if we go ahead and move this down a little bit and then grab the pipe, go to edit mode, uh sorry, go to wireframe mode and edit mode. Um you can grab all the vertices by right? putting some vertices select and then just kind of dragging over top of all those hitting G, Z and moving it down like that. There you go. Um and then we can go ahead and just uh and just enjoy that. Now I think I want to make maybe a couple more uh portals portals what am i saying pipes 
What? What is this? What am I? What am I talking about? What game? Am I, what game am I playing? I don't understand. Um, but we can do something like this. Put that one back there, and then we can maybe, maybe, um, hit Shift D duplicate this. Hit R X ninety, and then we can kind of maybe make a double portal like this, which looks really cool. Um, and then we can go ahead and just move it like this. Maybe not like that. Actually, maybe like. Uh, move it out and down. That'll probably look a little cool. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and grab the ends pieces, and then we'll hit G, G, uh, and double tap Z. I'm out of the camera's view. A little too far out of the camera's view, if you ask me. There you go. And now you can see that's how we make some Mario pipes, which is really cool. So I really enjoy this, and this is pretty cool. I just want to do like random modeling videos, you know, guys. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I really just enjoy creating things in blender so i'm going to actually go ahead and leave us off right here um i do want to maybe create some more things we can model some simple objects some non-simple objects get you guys maybe familiar with modeling I, I do want to go ahead and really quickly bevel the edges of these because it is very very sharp as you can see so i'll show you the difference between one that's beveled and one that's unbeveled go ahead and move it over so the one on the left is going to be unbeveled this one's going to be beveled so let's go ahead and hit tab go to edit mode on the uh pipe turn off wireframe mode because we don't need that and then go ahead and with on one of the loops, so on all of these vertices on the outside and the top, hit uh, control. Oh, no, sorry. Hit alt. Uh, no, I can't. Okay. That's not the right button. Um, <laughs> hit go. That's not working. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. So if you click alt and shift, you can see it selects the entire, it selects the entire edge loop. Now I can sometimes go the wrong direction. Like it will go this way. Select all of the vertices. Uh, like lengthwise instead of like you know all the way around so you just kind of have to get it at the right at the right angle so if you go ahead and adjust your camera with the middle mouse button the scroll wheel by clicking the scroll wheel in and then moving your mouse around you can see that if you hit alt shift it will indeed it will indeed select the proper one eventually now i'm gonna go ahead and select all of these and then hold sh down shift and alt and select all those and then these as well down at the bottom Nice, very cool. So if we hit Control B, you can see that it will now bevel all of these edges. If we scroll my mouse wheel, you can see it'll add in more edges for it to bevel with, which is very, very cool. So if we just go ahead and spin, uh, to, uh, sharpen that up a little bit like that, you can see that now we've created these weird lines in the pipe, and that's because that there wasn't any other vertices trying to stop us from connecting all of these. So let's go ahead one more time. I say undo that, and then we can create in a loop cut. Create a loop cut on the top there and on the side. Now we can go ahead and do the same exact thing we just did by holding down shift and alt, selecting that loop, then this loop, and then this loop down at the bottom. Hit control B, and as you can see, when we do this and then create that nice little edge, you can see that when we go back, there is no longer those weird lines in there anymore because we are we have now separated those. Now this is the difference between the beveled and the unbeveled versions. The left is obviously the unbeveled, and the right is definitely the beveled. As you can see, it looks much, much cooler than it did before. It looks much more real now. It looks much more finished and complete and it, it has a nice little edge rim glow which looks very 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 cool so i hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial about how to make a uh super mario pipe like one of the most famous objects in video games i suppose at one point very 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 cool stuff hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one but until then bye bye